everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 13. I'll explain everything in a minute. You're looking for Sash. Well, she's not here. Allow me to introduce myself. Darth Thanaton. Uh, hi. I haven't done anything to your master. I'm far too interested in how this game she's playing will turn out. I've waited a long time to meet you. An alien in the Sith ranks is an extremely rare thing. Why are the Sith such snobs? It never ceases to amaze me how narrow-minded the Sith can be. I wouldn't call it narrow-mindedness. The individual and the social will must be reconciled. There are no lords in an anarchy. I'm not concerned with your origins. The trials on Korriban are an honored tradition designed to sift out the unworthy. I trust they've served their purpose. I want to speak to you about your master. That seems to be everyone's favorite subject these days. Really? I'd love to hear what everyone has to say. Darth Zash is arrogant and reckless. Oh, I know. The reckless have a way of defeating themselves in the end. When she finally self-destructs, be careful not to get caught in the blast. A young Sith should not associate herself too closely with a master like Zash. You should have warned me sooner. For your sake. I hope it is not. You must seek your own way. Carve out your own victories. The culty one on Nar Shaddaa was a good first step, but it's not enough. A Sith cannot live without a power base. Good luck. Right. Okay, bye, Thanaton. My child, your power has grown since we last met. Your strength will rise and shape the Sith. I feel it. Now, I have another gift for you. One that was dearer to me than even my life. My own lightsaber. Until now, lost to me. But through your great power in the Force, I have found it. You must claim it. Claim a lightsaber for it to not even be useful come later on. Oh, that's like coffee all over again. So where do I find this lightsaber? I entrusted it to my faithful retainer, Jonas Eskimos. The only servant who didn't betray me when Tulak Horde moved against me. He swore he and his heirs would keep it safe until the time that my heir would return to claim it. His heir is on Nar Shaddaa, working in one of the casinos there. Her name is Mila Eskimos. Go to her and claim your inheritance. Woohoo! Inheritance! But I just got to Droman Cass! Literally just got here. Now you're sending me away to no, oh no, I should uh, fine. Well, actually, I'm gonna do it the 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 more fun way. I'm gonna do it this way, the quicker way, rather than having to riff raff all the way around because it'll take me right in the center of promenade if I remember lightly. So yes, hello everybody, it's me, it's Charlie, as you know. Um, so the plan was, um, I was gonna be doing the flashpoints, um, in these next two episodes in this week's episodes change of plans I'm not gonna until next week and the reason I say that I'm not gonna do the flashpoints on Listaria this week I am going to do it on Harlow the smuggler because the Republic side flashpoints is kind of set before the Imperial side flashpoint so I'm kinda gonna go and do Terrell 5 and the Maelstrom Prison first and then do boarding party and the foundry on Listaria. So yeah, this week for Kishila, for Kishila, for Kishila, Kishila is my Jedi Knight. Get it right for Listaria. It's going to be finishing chapter one, um, but it's going to be complete opposite for my smuggler. Yay! Exciting times. Right, where am I even going? I'm going. I'm going. Well, I need to go to the bloody taxi terminal. Ain't that great? Ain't that just a kick in the head? Ain't that a kick? In the head. Sorry, I, I I like singing, as you know. I like singing, but but I can't sing. I I really can't sing, and don't 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 ever make me properly sing, ever. Pads are currently open for business. I mean, like a ever, because head. I did it once when I went to EGX last year, and 
I shouldn't have done that. Wait, where am I going? You just said I had to go this way. But there's not travel to... Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, oh, oh. I need to actually travel, 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 travel to Nasha. That is... Oh. <sighs> this is what happens when you bloody try to be smart about everything. So I'm already here and... Uh, I'm already here, so I need to travel away and then travel back. <sighs> there we go. And I'm back. Cool. Now, I'm going to do it the way I did it beforehand. <sighs> you try to be smart about things and it just doesn't work out. Well, apparently I need to go to the tax terminal again anyway. Maybe it'll take me to the right place. Why do those seats look clickable? They look very clickable. Can I do something over there? Maybe I'll go back there and find out. He lied. Oh, we're going to the Star Cluster Casino. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know why I ever get excited about going to the Star Cluster Casino. It's not like we can do anything. I mean, all, all the slot machines are gone. So the, the grand, the grand, grand, what? What's this? What's the event called? The um, nightlife event. Well, that's that's not coming back anytime soon, sadly, because Bioware's kind of forgotten about that. Yeah, I mean, there's shady characters, so the Bounty Contract Week is up, and I've still got a bunch I need to do for Bounty Contract Week, but I'm probably never going to do it. Mila, you're Mila Eskelos, aren't you? I believe you have a lightsaber that belongs to me. I knew this would happen. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Please Sorry. don't kill me. I'll get the lightsaber back, I promise. What? You don't have the lightsaber? It's not my fault. It's my father's. Dad was never very smart, but a couple of years ago he topped himself. Oh, lovely. Put everything we had, lightsaber included, on the sabak table against a sleazebag named Gil Rosen, a known cheater. Lost it all. Just be happy you're dealing with me, and not my ancestor himself. I warned him. But Mill, he says, you gotta stop believing in myths. Now he's dead, and I'm paying off his debts. All of them. I'd get the lightsaber back, but Rosen has it, and he's holed up in the industrial area. It's too dangerous, and I, I can't exactly afford help. I should kill you where you stand. Look, you wanna go? Fine. But I'd get killed. Rosen will have guards everywhere. Oh, and please don't kill me. Only an Aeschylus can open the lightsaber case. Some kind of genetic lock, so if you get it, bring it here. I mean, we would have shocked you, but there's too many people around. And I don't want to have to deal with that sort of carnage, so. Not that anything would happen. Something should happen if I did, but, you know, if I was shocking a, a woman in a casino in Star Wars, in this casino, no one would give a damn. Um, in real life. Oh, I would be probably in prison. No, I didn't want to go there. Oh, well, we're going there anyway, and then we're going to go down there into the industrial sector. I saw that purple thing, and I thought, oh, that's where I need to go, and then I saw the industrial sector bit, and I'm like, oh. I hate this game sometimes. I love this game, but I really hate this game, because it's not... Some, some parts of this game I kind of put together with sticks and glue. Hey, I said I was going to check if these things are clickable. And... They don't appear to be. Alright. Hey, look, it's Crystal. Are you related to Vet in any chance? I mean, I don't know who Vet is. What? Sith Inquisitor has no idea who Vet is. So, as you can see, I have now got some crew skills for Listaria. So that I can do the crew skills achievements. I mean, not that the crew skill achievements give me very much. They gave me five points. But... I am going to try my best to aim as high as I can in the Dark vs. Light event. I want to, I really do want to try and get to um, Legendary because that gives me the... Uh, well that gives me the, 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 the companion, but... That's a fly. Ugh. But something tells me I'm not going to get there, but we'll find out soon enough. Hey look, I'm the right level to be on this planet! Look at that! My level has actually been shifted! That probably won't happen for future planets. I am going into a Sith Inquisitor phase. Hello, 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 hello. 
Hi, you are gonna die. Oh, I need to go and self. I will do that in a minute. Let me guess you a bonus mission. I may just do that anyway. Wait, is a droid considered a thug? Oh my god, it actually is. That is, uh... The most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Okay. Oh, look! Some more droids! How exciting! Considering you're, you're thugs, um, you're gonna be easy kills. So thank you! Oh, done. Okay, cool. I'll take all the loot. And now I'll go and stealth, because I don't need to kill anybody else. Right, who do I actually need, though? I need you guys! Hi! You shouldn't have come here, Seth. I've got eyes and ears all over this city. I heard all about your little talk with the Aeschylus Will. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. You're in no place to bargain. Look, I'm standing here with Nar Shaddaa's toughest mercenaries. Guys that make the Sith look like school teachers. Oh, really? So, what I'm thinking is, you're gonna listen to me. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Really? Here's what I propose. Mm. I give you the lightsaber, mm -hmm. and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. Mm -hmm. That, or you pay me three million credits. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith! Uh, sir, you, you do realize... No complaints! I don't pay you to complain! Kill her! Kill her! What are you doing? Sorry, boss. You, you can't pay me enough to fight no Sith. Well, well, well... Uh... <laughs> oh, come on! Yes! I'll make it quick, I promise. No way! I got no plans for dying anytime soon. Boys, let's get out of here while we still have our hides, huh? Wait! This isn't what I pay you for! You fools, you'll never work on Nar Shaddaa again! I'm sick of your voice. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll make you another deal, okay? I'll give you the lightsaber, you let me live. It's not like you could open the case anyway. Mm, no. I'd rather kill you. <laughs> That was fun! Let's do that again sometime. Ah! Oh, it's a race, is it? Well, the guy in front's gonna beat me, so, uh, yeah. Oh, oh is he? Oh, I'm catching up! I'm catching up! <gasps> We're crashing into each other. Oh, am I gonna win? I might actually just win the. It's a tie. It's a tie. Although, actually, I'm, I'm ahead of you! Ha 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 ha! And guess what? I have rocket boost! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 Oh, I'm such a child. Oh, and guess what? I have full speed too! Oh. Mila, open this box, now. So did you give that scumbag Rosen a taste of his own blood? Uh, something like that. You won't be bothering anyone anymore. Thanks. I appreciate that a lot. Now, let me see that case. Uh, just a second here. Uh, oh, there you go. I hope it's what you wanted. Anyway, now that I don't have to pay Rosen off, I'll probably ditch this place. I owe you one. I'll find you when I need you. I hope I'm up to the task. Good luck out there. I wonder if I'll actually be able to call upon that favor one day. Something tells me I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, now I need to use my holotone. I'm probably going to be all like Zash being all... Oh, why aren't you here yet? God! Apprentice, you have all the artifacts. Excellent. Meet me on Drummond Cass immediately. I'm sorry I don't have more time to talk. There is much work to do to prepare the ritual. Look at her. No time to talk. Too busy plotting your demise, cruel witch. You have done well, flesh of my flesh, in seeking out your inheritance. But, things are more dire than I suspected. I have discovered the nature of Darth Zash's strange rituals. There is no doubt that she intends to cause you harm. Oh, I knew it was too good to last. Yes, her words smell of honey and taste of poison. Zash praises your great strength. Yet she fears it. The rituals she performs are to protect her against the Force. 
Ask yourself, why go to such lengths to defend herself against the Force if she has no intention of fighting you? I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not let Zash move first. Arm yourself with anger. Steal yourself with hate. Crush her before she has a chance to strike. And if at all possible, do not face her alone. But bring an ally who can break through her defenses. Kim! You can. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you totally can. Yes, nothing will totally go wrong there. As you say. Good. I can be no further help to you. I am too weak to face Zash. It depends on you. Just remember, whatever you do, do not enter the Dark Temple alone. Zash is prepared. Well, 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 well. Ooh, different lightsaber. Ooh, I could go for I can go for the Lord Calic scorching lightsaber or double bladed lightsaber. Well, considering I use double bladed, then we're gonna go for a double bladed one, don't you? And level twenty nine. Ah, oh, how lovely. Should we speak to um, some companions before we finish off this episode? I feel this episode is going to be a little bit short. Yes, let us speak to Andronikos before we finish this episode. Howdy. Hey, I got a surprise for you. <gasps> Won it a few years ago in a fight against an animid pirate. Called himself the Fear. I love surprises. Kinda crazy, but great pilot and a great fighter. Blade's just ornamental, but he sure liked to wave it around. Worth a lot of credits from what I hear. Oh my god, he got me Frostmon! <laughs> I'd prefer a bouquet. <laughs> Let's say it, see what happens. Haven't you ever heard of giving a girl flowers? Oh yeah, sure. But the last floor as we passed was closed, and besides, they wilt real fast in space. Of course. You know, if you don't take this blade, you might hurt my feelings. Well... I don't believe that for one moment. You sure? Maybe I like you. <laughs> Sentimentality. Yuck. No, feelings mutual. Maybe I like you too. Well, then we might just work out after all. He just cut him. Okay. He just uh, stopped himself. Fine. You know, I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? Do you think it's a serious problem? Well, no, until I look. Probably just space dust. We gotta be sure. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Could never see when the deck was stacked against him. <laughs> and it always was. You have quite the colorful group of friends. Pirate business has all kinds of people. Made me first mate after the war. On a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. But you're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? Mm, if you say so. I mean, I'm gonna speak to you one last time before I finish this episode. <sighs> Engine's fixed. Looks like we took on some rock on one of our last jumps. Nothing big. Reminds me of the time I took the Sky Princess through an asteroid field. My ship mechanics were furious. Clean rock out of our engines for weeks. Had to replace one of the rears, it was so badly damaged. You brag about it like it wasn't colossally stupid. When you got a fleet of Republic ships on your tail, you take whatever cover you can find. Rocks don't have cannons. <laughs> what? Besides, what's life without a little risk, huh? That's why I became a pirate. The risk, the reward, the freedom. What was that? <laughs> what are you, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch? Perhaps I should take up piracy then. The Sith have too many rules. I think you'd be one of the best. Galaxy's only Sith pirate. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's plenty out there. I doubt I am the only one. But anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Still have no idea how long this episode is. I really need to keep a timer sometimes. I mean, last episode was literally 15 minutes long when I set it down. And I think I recorded about 25 minutes, 26, 27, 28, something like that. So yeah, this is what happens when you edit down episodes. They come really short. But anyway... Next time, we've got the main event. We've got the finale of Chapter 1. That doesn't mean it's the finale of, like, Sith Inquisitor. I'm going to still continue to do this every Monday and Wednesday. 
so don't need to worry about that. So thank you very much for watching. I say that, but look at look at how well things have gone so far. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.